Uh, looks like we're doing Halloween early this year, guys. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, my Spinners and Sharks. Ace here, and today we're going to go ahead and play the game that you guys voted on, the Howling Reels game. So let's go ahead and see about doing 1.5 million per spin. Multiply that by 100, we'll be looking at putting 150 million chips through the machine. And we'll put, obviously, that 100 spins on the clock there. So without further ado, let's get started on your mark, get set, ready, and go. Okay, so here's a thing that I noticed about Vegas recently. Vegas is going to be invaded by Virgin. And yes, I mean Virgin Singular, because that's exactly what's happening. So I'm sure you guys already knew that Virgin Hotel was coming to Vegas as well, and um, obviously, well, is Virgin Airlines still a thing anymore? I'm definitely going to have to look that up, but that's not really the point. So the Virgin Hotel, so Richard Branson, as you guys know, already bought the Hard Rock, and they are shutting down the Hard Rock in... Uh, February, at the end of February, February 2020, so we're going to make sure that we visit the Hard Rock this time on our winter trip here. We're going to go ahead and go for Christmas weekend, uh, and hopefully we'll get this Blood Moon bonus too, so we can definitely make sure that we have enough uh, loyalty points for the helicopter flight now. Uh, definitely going to have more than enough points for the room rental and all that, but I really want to take a helicopter flight too, so we're going to go ahead and make sure we do that. But anyway, back to uh, back to Virgin though. I'm gonna double check on Virgin Airlines. I'm pretty sure it's defunct now, but I am just so genuinely curious because oh no, actually uh, that might be a might be a thing still. No, apparently Virgin Group is still a thing. You can actually book with Virgin Airlines, so you can fly to Vegas with Virgin Airlines. You can also stay at a Virgin hotel now. And here's the thing: soon you'll be able to take a high-speed Virgin train to Vegas too. Uh, so that was something that I was reading about there. Uh, Virgin Tran, or Virgin Trains, excuse me, is going to be going from LA down to Las Vegas as well now, uh, sometime in 2023, according to their company. So it looks like you should be able to, if you're in the LA area, you should be able to get to Vegas very, very quickly through a high-speed train. It's kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like one of those Japanese sort of bullet trains there that they send all over Tokyo. It's a pretty cool little uh, little deal there. I've been looking at the construction. It looks like it's going to take the better part of four years for them to finish the whole trackway, and it's going to be about a 180-mile trip uh, just coming from Victorville, California, going out to Vegas. So it'll be about the same cost as uh, taking a plane there, depending on what time of year it is. A uh, better part of 60 bucks a ticket um, in each direction. So, quick flight, or excuse me, quick train ride, about 75 minutes to 90 minutes through. So, that's better than dealing with the gridlock if you're coming from Cali and you're trying to get to Vegas that way. Oh, look at this, guys. We got ourselves that Blood Moon respin right here. Let's go, let's go. And nothing on that respin. That is a shame. Oh, well. But hey, what you gonna do? Yeah, this is a quick 100 spins over here. I think we're already up to uh, 38 spins, but let's go ahead and talk about that train there. I'm actually really impressed with Richard Branson. He's trying to make his brand very all-inclusive. He's uh, getting the hotel there, and he's trying to get people over to the hotel. And, ooh, we got another respin, guys. Let's go, let's go. That's pretty impressive. Okay. Wait, what's going on now? Oh, it's a half moon. Do we get another respin? Oh, we do get another respin. What's going on now? Do we get another part of the moon? Oh, it's a full moon. Now what happens? Now we get another respin? Now she... Oh, she turns into a werewolf. Okay, that's pretty dope. Oh, so we get bigger respins. And that turns into another wolf over there. And So anytime we win, we get another character that turns into a wolf because it rolls up this, uh, this moon over here. That's pretty dope. All right, so that gives us another half moon over here, and that just rip, wraps uh, uh, rips up the wilds there. Excuse me, sorry about that, guys. All right, that was 22 million. That's not bad. That's not bad for a respin there. That actually got us back up to our starting uh, bonus there too. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, though, so it's looking like Richard Branson's going to be putting about four billion dollars into this. Probably not him himself, but uh, definitely going to be his company putting in 
four billion dollars to go ahead and put the thing down so it's going to be about a billion dollars a year uh, i think they've been talking about this since 2004 uh, it might have been uh, West Express or maybe Express West. I can't remember the name of the company that was talking about it. But they've been talking about it for a while and they've been planning the whole thing. So Virgin Trains USA got the company that was talking about it um, sometime earlier this year. I want to say spring of this year. Uh, it's 2019 right now for anyone that's watching this in the in the future. So uh, I, I guess we're going to start just building the thing. They're going to add some stops closer to L.A. and all that. And it's going to be, you know, it's just going to be huge. And I think that's actually really cool. I wish that we did have more large-scale express trains like that. I wouldn't mind traveling by train to Vegas. And Vegas hasn't really been a railway town uh, for quite some time. I mean, I, I don't think since the late 1800s, early 1900s, they haven't had a proper train going in and out of there, so you can't really get there by train, and I very much would like to take a train trip just one of these days to Vegas. I, I enjoy trains, they're, they're a good thing. You know, I'm like Sheldon Cooper in that regard, just, you know, who doesn't love a train? <laughs> Unless you're uh, waiting for it to go by and you're on the road, so, you know. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we are coming up uh, really quickly here. What else is Virgin doing? So aside from closing up, uh, yeah, Bridge, yeah, Richard Branson's really just kind of taken over Las Vegas. Pretty soon it's going to be, if you're a Vegas virgin, it's going to be a completely different thing. Instead of just being the first time you're in Vegas, it just means that you're going to be affiliated with the company. And you're like, yeah. So there you go. There's another <laughs> fun tagline. Vegas, where virgins come out to play. Going to have to work on that one there. So what other exciting things are happening in Vegas? So, Oh, also, let's go ahead and get back to uh, the hard rock there. So don't forget to go visit them uh, bef before any trips that or during any trips that you have before February 2020 because February 2020 when it's gone it's gone I'm afraid. All right, guys, coming up on the last 20 spins here, really hoping that we get that Blood Moon bonus. I've never actually played this game just because I mean it looks a little Van Helsingy and uh, you know not you know not of the werewolf that sort of thing there. But I'm hoping to get this Blood Moon bonus, see what it does. I'm guessing it's probably going to be free spins or something along those lines. And looks like we got the Virgo spin 75 times, yep. So, yeah, we're right about there. Yeah, we're coming up on the last 20 spins really quickly here. And let's see how much better we do. I think we've only, we haven't lost that much um, as far as chips go. I'm actually really impressed with how little that we've lost. It's been pretty consistent, and that uh, respin bonus was actually very, very good. So I'm looking forward to the way this ends, and I'm definitely looking forward to that trip. Actually, you know what I was thinking about doing on the stream one of these days? I'd really very much like to plan a Vegas vacation, so maybe next time I'm planning the Vegas vacay, I'm going to go ahead and put you Oh, there's that 12 free respins, my dudes. <laughs> Let's do this. Spinners and Sharks, here we go. All right. Oh, what happens if you get multiple Blood Moon bonuses during this whole thing here? Oh, and we might actually have respins in respins. Yeah, we get a respin awarded inside our respin. Because, yo, dog, I heard you like respins. Oh, so since, since it's Blood Moon, you immediately get the respin bonus on top of that. That's dope. And hit again, so that means I turn another guy into a werewolf. All right. I can get behind that. There's another win. And then another one of the face cards becomes a werewolf. So all the faces are now werewolves. And they're all wilds. What else turns into a... Oh, okay. I guess that's the maximum bonus you can get. Okay. Five million. Five million. That's not bad. And let's see how this whole thing plays out. But yeah, on stream, one of these days, you guys should totally let me know. Do you guys want to help me plan a Vegas vacation? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm trying to do about four a year at this point. I can't go to Vegas more than once every three months. I just don't have the energy to do it. Uh, now that I'm coming up, I'm coming up on 30, so I'd like to go for my birthday. Um, I think we're definitely going for a Christmas trip. Uh, but Oh, and we're getting a... No, we're not getting another Blood Moon bonus, but that was pretty cool. Let's see if we can finish this with a big one now. But yeah, leave your thoughts on that in the comment section below. We'll talk a little more after this game too, just to see how it ends. Here's our last free spin here. And that is game, set, and match. My spinners and sharks, 11 million chips on that one. Cool. And that is it. So it looks like we are ending at 1,528,000. 
1,984,019 chips. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break. I'm uh, gonna do some maths and we'll uh, count up the booty. All right, welcome back my spinners and sharks. So as it turns out, after we did the maths, we're looking at an 83.15% payback percentage from the Howling Reels. Not quite enough to get a heart. We're not gonna call this one a favorite, but it's a pretty cool looking game and it was a fun game to play. So, just so you guys know. Alright guys, next time I think we're going to go ahead and look into Lake Spot of Bigfoot. And then Frisky Fortune's nitpick was the third place, so we'll go ahead and do that just another time there. Uh, but in the meantime though, let me know what are you guys most excited about. Are you looking forward to the Year of the Virgin next year? 2020, they're going to be, not only are they going to have new hotels, like they're going to have the Circa Hotel that's coming out uh, downtown. They're going to have Resorts World, so it'll be their first year as well too. And then Hard Rock is being rebranded into the Virgin Hotel, then they're doing the groundbreaking here on the Virgin Trainway that's going to be going to Vegas, so that's all going to be really dope stuff too. And are you guys also looking forward to helping me plan a Vegas trip? Just go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm, I'll go ahead and talk to the boss lady too, but then I'll put up a poll in the... Uh, in the community tab section too, and then we're gonna go ahead and see what else we can do. Until next time, my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas is signing out, wishing you strong hands and happy spinning, you guys.